Hello world. Welcome to this introduction to Python programming video tutorial by Data Science Academy. This will be a series of video snippets covering a wide range of topics in Python. In this video, we will be giving a brief introduction to Python. Have fun programming in bits. This introduction to Python video is structured as follows. First, we will have a brief background on what is Python. Then, we will install Python, followed by the syntax used in Python. Why should we learn Python? Python is an object-oriented programming language, which has a rich set of features, which makes it desirable for a beginner. Here, we will highlight a few of the appealing features of Python. Python is easy to learn, making it suitable for anyone who has no prior programming knowledge. Python programming requires a properly formatted code to be written for it to run properly, making it easy to understand for people who read this code. It is concise, multi-purpose and easy to maintain. In Python, we do not have to explicitly declare the variable, it is dynamically interpreted. Python code can be run on various platforms, such as Linux, Unix, Windows etc., making it portable. It is extendable, as it has a wide selection of standard libraries, and also provides the programmer to write their own custom libraries, like any other language. Python is the brainchild of Guido Van Rossum. He implemented Python in December 1989. Within the Python community, Van Rossum is known as a benevolent dictator for life. Meaning that, he oversees the Python development process, making decisions where necessary. Van Rossum announced on July 2018 that he would be stepping down as BDFL of Python without appointing a successor, effectively eliminating the title within the Python community. Python has undergone three major versions. Python 1 was released in January 1994. Python 2 was released in October 2000 and the current stable release of Python 3 was released on December 2008. This video tutorial series will focus on Python 3 only. Before starting to code in Python, it is necessary to install the appropriate version of Python. This is slightly different for Linux and Windows operating systems. Here, we provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to install Python on Windows OS. Step 1. Visit the official homepage of Python. It is www.python.org. Step 2. Follow the downloads link and choose Windows. Step 3. Choose the Python version suitable for your version of Windows. Download the file and install Python as instructed by the installation software. In most Linux distributions such as Ubuntu, Debian, Red Hat Linux etc., Python is installed by default. Throughout this Python programming video series, we will use IDLE. IDLE is an integrated development environment for Python, which is bundled with the default implementation of the language. For Microsoft Windows, IDLE is installed by default along with Python. In Ubuntu Linux, we can use the command sudo apt get install IDLE 3. Your IDLE interface would look similar to this screenshot. Let us start our Python programming journey with the tradition of printing out Hello World, like when you learn any new programming language. To print Hello World we use the print function, with the argument Hello World enclosed in single, double or triple quotes. Single, double or triple quotation marks are used to specify a string, details of which would be covered later in this Python programming video series. What is Python used for? Python is popularly used in system programming, web programming, GUI applications, robotics, rapid prototyping, system integration, data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, database applications, and much more. Who uses Python today? Python is used by Google, YouTube, Yahoo, Zopay Corporation, Industrial Light and Magic, Walt Disney Feature Animation, Pixar, NASA, NSA, Red Hat, Nokia, IBM, Netflix, Yelp, Intel, Cisco, 
HP, Qualcomm, JP Morgan Chase, and much more. Python is also the language in which complex games such as Battlefield 2, Civilization 4, and Quark, are written in. We hope that, you learned something new today. Practice, what you learned today. And see you soon in the next video, of this Python programming series. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed learning please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.